The inspiration for this puzzle comes from Don Stewart's blog called Median. I highly recommend this blog. It's one of the most practical that I've ever seen for math teachers. The puzzle is a 5x5 five five lattice where you have to put quadrilaterals so that the vertices of those quadrilaterals have to be um, one of those points that you see on there. So for example, we're going to start with a square. So that is the largest square that includes that top yellow dot. You have to include that in all of your quadrilaterals. The smallest square is that one. So the biggest one had an area of 16, the smallest an area of 1. What about a rhombus? What is the largest rhombus and the smallest rhombus that has that yellow vertex and the other vertices chosen from all of those other points? Well, turn off the video and try to figure that out. Okay, so here's the biggest one, and here's the smallest one. Next, let's uh, figure out what the largest kite is that is not a rhombus, and then the smallest. The biggest is this one. The smallest is this one. Now I'm sure that I'm going to make an error somewhere in this video, so you won't be too surprised whenever you find it. Uh, rectangle. That, no, there might not be one. I haven't done one on purpose. So here's the biggest rectangle I could find, and here's the smallest one. And a parallelogram that is neither a rectangle nor a rhombus. So think about that. Turn off the video. Try to figure out the biggest para parallelogram and the smallest parallelogram. Here is the biggest one, and here is the smallest one. The isosceles trapezoid that is biggest, that is not a parallelogram, and the smallest. There's the biggest, and there's the smallest. How about a trapezoid that is not isosceles? Well, the biggest one is certainly that, and the smallest one there it is. A quadrilateral that is neither a kite nor a trapezoid. So this one, let's see, there it is, that's the biggest one, and the smallest one. Try to find that. Here it is, there's the smallest one. Okay, now that you've gone through these easy puzzles, it's time for you either to create your own tougher puzzles, or you can continue with this video and I'll show you some tougher ones. So this is uh, a, quite a bit tougher because it's on a 9 by 9 grid, and here we have two vertices which must be part of your quadrilateral. That is the biggest square, and the smallest square is that one. A rhombus that is not a square. So think about it. Try to solve it. Here's the answer. That's the biggest one, but it's not a square. Is that right? Actually, I think I find, well, maybe, maybe that is the biggest. I think that is correct. Okay, and here's the smallest one. Okay, and here's a kite that is not a rhombus. So there's a big kite and a little kite. I tried this a different way, so here's a different kite but it also turned out to have the same 21 size as the one that I found first. Okay, a rectangle that is not a square. So try to find that yourself. Turn off the video. You want to find the largest rectangle that is not a square, and then the smallest rectangle that is not a square. Well, there's the biggest, and there's the smallest. A parallelogram that is neither a rectangle nor a rhombus. Okay, you got it? Here's the biggest one that I could find, and the smallest one. Okay, an isosceles triangle that is not a parallelogram. Try to find that. That is the biggest that I could find, and that's the smallest. That is another possibility, but you can see that it's smaller than the 17 and a half one 
that I find first. Let your students experiment by moving those two yellow vertices around and posing many little competitions to their classmates and to their peers. Enjoy! Thank you.